A lot of dropshippers have the exact same questions and problems, and although a lot of them probably do revolve around Facebook ads, Google ads, whatever kind of ads, it's a lot more than that. If you're here to build a long-term sustainable brand that you want to scale over the next two to five years and then plan to rather exit or something along those lines, then you're going to need a kick-ass team. And when I mean kick-ass team, I don't only mean a team that gets things done for you and all that kind of stuff. I mean a team that actually improves your business without you having to watch them 24 seven and train them and make sure that they're not doing the same mistakes over and over again, because believe me, it happens. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you've hired before, you've probably hired off onlinejobs.ph or perhaps even a higher quality site like Upwork. Both of them offer customer service agents and all that kind of stuff from the Philippines. And hey, it gets the job done, but is it scalable? Is it foolproof? Could your employees that you have right now be doing better? We all know how bad Facebook support is, so let's not use them as an example. But if the, if the CEO of Nike came up to you and said, hey, what level would you rank your customer service from one to 10? If that number isn't like a 9.5 or a 10, that is a problem. For most people that have these new brands in 2020, 2021, whatever year you wanna call it, chances are that you're gonna to wanna to have a brand that's customer obsessed. You want, to, you want your customers to be so happy with your products and your customer service and everything in between that they just come back and buy. There's no retargeting, there's no SMS blast needed. They just come back and buy. That's how Amazon was, Bezos is all about it, he's customer obsessed, and that's how I kind of like to follow too. I, I kind of like to follow what rich and successful people do and kind of just copy it. You know, I, I kind of like, to, I, I don't like reinventing the wheel. I know deep down inside that customer service is so important. And before when I was doing dropshipping like a year and a half ago, just like selling random products every week, I didn't care. All I wanted was the orders and I got the orders, but it didn't ever last because the support was so trash. And if I was doing it myself, it would be good. Like I would give them a response, but I had all these little loopholes to kind of extend the conversation to avoid me doing the work. And I became so distant from it that eventually it would lead to disputes or chargebacks or just a low feedback score, which ruins pretty much everything. So enough with this blabbing. I wanna get straight to the point and tell you how you, as a dropshipper, can inexpensively find high quality employees that you won't have to spend over an hour training and sleep knowing that your customers are gonna be put at a peace of mind without you having to type one more customer support email. Here we go. Welcome back to the channel guys. Real quick, I say this in every single video, it's kind of just like part of the plan now. If you are an entrepreneur, if you have an e-commerce company, a SaaS business, if you do any kind of investing maybe, and you wanna be around like-minded people, I have a Discord server, it's linked below, it's free to join. Every single day people are flying in that run agencies, run e-com brands, some people are new, some people are experienced. If you wanna be in there just to network, you're totally free to join. But enough of that, let's get straight to this video. So this company was actually recommended to me by a friend of mine named Chad. Chad runs his own seven figure e-commerce brand and he's also in my Discord server. Uh, and we were talking about this on a phone call and we kind of just talked about a few things that I know about TikTok, he was telling me about the employees and he recommended a company called gotoimpact.com. So I checked them out, their prices seem pretty fair and we actually just set up with our first employee with them just now to do customer service full time. So she's working nine to five, Monday to Friday. And then I have a second customer support agent who's just gonna be working on the weekends for two hours per day. So two hours Saturday, two hours Sunday. She's from Upwork. So she's also pretty good quality, but this go-to one is expected to be perceived as a lot higher quality. This one actually had a lot of experience. She worked at an Amazon seller kind of thing for Dell, Dell Technology. So that's pretty big. And a few other ones, that doesn't matter for you. But what GoTo does is they find you qualified candidates based on what you're looking for. So, great example, this is Ecom Street. So if you want an Ecom store and you want someone to handle customer support tickets and everything, I mean, all support tickets, live chat, we have a separate video about this on um, Gorgeous, but live chat, emails, social media comments, all that good stuff. You say you want that, they say, okay, cool, thank you. Let, let us do a quick brief search. 
they do their search, they find like five or six people that meet your criteria already. You do a screening phone call and at the end of that six like quick speed date interviews, you choose who you want if you want any of them. If not, they go back to the pool, five more new ones and the list goes on and on. But usually that first phone call, you're gonna find someone that you really like, you're gonna hire them, then you're given a success manager and this success manager is basically going to make sure that every single day your employee is doing what you want them to do at the best of their ability. They're going to train them on things that you might not be good at. You know, there's going to be all kinds of stuff that the success manager does for you and you don't really have to pay them at all. Like you get, you get billed one invoice each month where you're actually given an offer. We've got 25% off our first three months. So we're paying like 1200 us for a full-time employee plus success manager. I don't have to lift a finger to train her. It's very, very low maintenance for me and my customers are happy. And if they're not, I can always just switch employees too. So even if I pay, I can switch employees and find someone else. So I'm not going to be around the bush too much. You guys get it. She's doing all kinds of customer support at a high quality service. Of course, there's going to be a couple days when you first start where they might be a little bit slower and getting used to it, but that's not the objective here. The, the objective is that after 30 days of working with your company, this employee should be a rock star. And when I say rock star, I just mean like hands on, like they're sending you detailed reports of what they're doing, what they didn't do, self evaluations every single week or every single month, at least once a month, you hop on a phone call with you, your employee and your success manager and kind of just go through where to improve and what's good and all that kind of stuff. And it's amazing. You can grow with them and it's scalable. I talked about this in, my, in a recent video about gorgeous, but it has to be scalable. If you're looking, a lot of people have ambitions to grow a company from zero to seven figures or even just six figures, but they don't think of the scalability of their back end and their team and all that other stuff. Yes, drop shipping is scalable, it's easy, there's little overhead, you can scale. MRR isn't always amazing if you're starting out, but regardless, both systems have to be scalable the Facebook ads and the team, all that good stuff. So, I pretty much just wanted to make a quick video and tell you guys about them. Bottom line, what are the key takeaways? Check out GoTo, don't sleep on customer service. A question that you might be asking yourself as you're watching this is, okay, Corey, I'm doing emails myself right now. I'm trying very hard, I'm doing well. My customers are satisfied, but it's not scalable. I'm exhausted. It's the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning. What do I do? Hey, well, if you're thinking that, first of all, congratulations for caring about your customers. I was very similar. I was answering anywhere between 50 to 100 emails a day just from customers alone, which can take up a lot of time. You know, you become a great typer, but it's just really hard sometimes. So if you're one of those people, then yes, slowly lean in to these models like Gorgeous and GoTo. If you're getting anywhere over, I guess, 40 to 50 tickets a day, this is something that you want to look into just for the matter of you having been, just for the, just for the matter of fact that you can actually have more time to work on your business and not in your business. Anyways, bottom line, you get a success manager, you sign up with them, you get billed monthly, you can change anytime you want. It's pretty killer. I'm excited to see, again, I just started working with this employee like a couple days ago, so maybe I'll do a performance update like a month from now if I still recommend them, which I'm sure I will, because if someone that does seven figures recommends them, I'm pretty sure they're good, right? So I followed that and it's inexpensive too. For a lot of you doing any kind of decent like monthly recurring revenue, this is attainable for you and it's just gonna be a good decision to look into. Again, you can stay with the whole Fiverr and Upwork and kind of online jobs, PH, model if you want to say like super cost effective, but go to is also very lean. That's the word I forgot to say earlier. It's lean. Like it's not going to be like a, you know, a huge hunk of time just wasted for you. It's lean. It's quick. It's easy. And it's all done for you. They make a Slack workspace for you. Forgot to mention that they make a Slack workspace where you can just communicate with your entire team pretty much easily. So no more Skype, no more WeChat and all that weird stuff. It's in Slack. You manage the team. You can grow that way and everything just smoothens out. That pretty much wraps up for this video. I try keeping them super quick and straight to the point. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want, I don't want to waste my time. I got other stuff to do as well. So this video was super quick, straight to the point. I'm going to leave a link to my discord server and go to below for you to check out whenever you want. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.